Alright guys, welcome back to another video in Cobra Space program. So today I'm going to do something a bit different. I'm actually going to start a myth-busting KSP series. So whatever things that you guys think is a valuable test that I should do, then I'll probably be do it. But what, uh, what we're going to do is test aerodynamics. So we're going to see if aerodynamics actually do work. Note, I don't read the wiki. I don't like reading the wiki. Sometimes the things on the wiki are false. I don't read it. Okay? Now, <laughs> All right, what I have here is test mark 1, and I have, I'll show you, test mark 2. The only difference is that one has an aerodynamic nose cap, the other does not. Okay, and note, it is there an aerodynamic, it even says here, an aerodynamic nose cap. Yep, standard NC. That's what we're going to use, and then I'll do another test. So what I'm going to do is... Um, I'm gonna start this one up, right? And I'm gonna record the results, so the highest altitude and the max speed achieved, and we'll be on with that. Let's go. Okay, this is Mark II without the aerodynamic nose cap. In three, two, one. Ah, uh, there's a glitch again. There is a glitch. The heck? The heck? What's going on here? We're at 200 meters per second. Where are we? Ah, oh, not this shit again. Ah, oh, am I going to record my results? No, this, this experiment has been flawed. I have to restart this. Um, yeah, I can't use the, this data. It's been corrupted. <laughs> okay, let's restart that. Three, two, one. Okay, let's record these results. Now we're going to see if the aerodynamic nose cone um, actually makes a difference. It has a mass of 0 0.03. So, 3, 2, 1. This is Mark IV, the one without the aerodynamic nose cone. Launch in three, two, one. Now I'm going to try the protective rocket nose MK2, a large nose cone for covering up exposed areas of big rockets. Essentially, it is a large version of this, which means it is aerodynamic, lightweight, mostly non-explosive. I have this booster here, solid fuel booster, because it is consistent. It doesn't try and adjust what is it. It has a locked gimbal, right? It doesn't have a gimbal which moves side to side or not. I don't have to throttle up. Three, two, one.
Alright, so you've seen me do the experiments, now I've got all the results. As you can see here on the left hand side, we have Mark 1, Mark 3 and Mark 5. These ones are the ones with aerodynamic nose caps or nose cone. Test Mark 2, Mark 4 and Mark 6, the ones on the right hand side of the page. These ones were the ones without an aerodynamic nose cap or nose cone. Overall, um, the test showed that having no aerodynamic nose cap or nose cone is actually better. Um, the mass was the main contributor, or was the contributor for slowing down the rocket, mostly. That's what I know so far. And yes, I actually checked the wiki, so no one complains. Um, it says here, it only uses aerodynamic and aesthetic purposes, but we've tested that, it's a little contradiction here, that we've tested that aerodynamic doesn't do anything on Kerbin. It's useless. It, in fact, slows you down. And the same thing goes with the uh, aerodynamic nose cone and this protective nose MK7. I also checked EVE, because I know EVE has a very thick atmosphere. I would have thought it said, okay, um, aerodynamics work on EVE, because EVE has a thick atmosphere. It slows you down a lot. But no, it doesn't say anything about that, which is horrible. So, overall, don't use any aerodynamic nose caps, nose cone. They're useless other than for your own aesthetic look if you like looking at those types of things or if you have some sort of design to show off. So I hope you guys actually learned something from that. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.